two famous works, The Lobster Telephone and The Bicycle Wheel, by two artists trying to challenge how we see life. Salvador Dali and Marcel Duchamp made an odd couple. They were very different characters. Dali, the surrealist showman, running around proclaiming his own genius. Duchamp, much more quiet and reserved. But they shared beliefs, artistic values, and had a similar sense of humour. I think if they wouldn't have met, if they wouldn't have had struck up a friendship, if they wouldn't have, have adored playing chess with each other and holidaying, I don't think we would have seen contemporary art as it is today. They really forged the way forward and they bounced off of each other. And both, of course, went on to produce some of the 20th century's most important artworks. Most impressive of all is Dali's crucifixion. Those great paintings seen through Duchamp's glasses gives us a new perspective on both artists. It's the scale, it's the proportions, it's the perspectives. It's the division up and down, um, the rather ambiguous body, and uh, I, I find the, the connection completely fascinating. Alongside the major works, films, books, photographs and letters between the two men, and lesser-known paintings. The two portraits of the artist's fathers, both done when they were young men, um, quite similar in, in, in presentation, but very different in, in character. I mean, Dali's portrait of his father has a very forbidding and sceptical expression, largely because his son had just been expelled from the Madrid Academy of Fine Art and he was very disappointed. You can ponder the paintings and this peculiar friendship from Saturday at the Royal Academy. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News.